construction, a simple understanding of the strength and forces acting on a ship's structure is also important. An optimal ship structure has the minimum amount of steel to provide the strength and stiffness necessary to withstand the full range of internal and external forces exerted on it from sources such as the light ship weight, the weight of cargo, ballast, fuel, etc. And of course the harsh sea, marine environment, the movement of the ship and vibrations. The hull may be compared to a simple beam. When a force acts on the beam, it bends and stretches in accordance with the magnitude of the force and the strength of the beam. Loads generate vertical static forces in still water. Waves generate dynamic forces that act vertically, horizontally and transversely, also creating shear and bending forces, in addition to tension and compression. Longitudinal forces will be experienced in the bow due to a head seize. So at sea, the ship's hull is continuously being exposed to a large number of forces coming from practically all directions. The same simple beam principle also occurs in complex combinations inside the ship's structure, where plating, frames, stiffening, girders, panels and brackets are built up from many separate small beam elements all working together. Due to the many and variable forces acting upon them, these elements may partly fail and develop cracks and damage in critical areas, causing a serious reduction in local and overall strength. In addition, aggressive corrosion that is found when placing steel in the marine environment ruthlessly weakens the steel and its welded connections. As we have seen, there are many factors constantly affecting the strength of the hull.